So one of the questions I get asked fairly regularly is, how does a laser harp actually work? I don't mean how do you play a laser harp, which I think is fairly obvious from this clip here. You break the beams with your hands and then the note information can be sent to a synthesizer via MIDI, just like any MIDI keyboard. But the real question is, how does the laser harp physically detect where your hands are and how does it know which note you're playing? So first of all, I'm not talking about one of these framed laser harps. I'm talking about one that doesn't require sensors on the ceiling or on a wooden frame somewhere. These are called frameless laser harps and they usually consist of four items in the setup. A mirror, a laser projector, a laser harp controller, and a single sensor. So here's an example of my typical setup. We have the laser harp controller connected via an ILDA cable to the laser projector. And here's an inside view of the laser projector with the three diode modules, the red, green and blue laser diodes, and three dichroic filters that allow the three beams to be combined into a single beam. There's also a galvanometer mirror system that allows the beam to be then be redirected to anywhere in the X and Y coordinates. So here you can see I'm adjusting the intensity of the laser beams from the separate laser modules. And you can see the galvanometer doing its job and uh, scanning the single laser beam across the mirror, which is in the outside of the laser projector in just in the single X coordinate scanning uh, left and right in this case. The laser beams are actually switching on and off as well very, very quickly. In fact, so quickly that it's uh, impossible to perceive from, from the naked eye. And here you can see the typical fan pattern that you get from the laser projector, albeit a very uh, slow scanning pattern. Here's that same pattern in slow motion uh, using a high frame rate camera. And here is what it looks like on the ceiling. Again, this is still at a low scanning rate uh, to, to show this effect off. Uh, again, here another high speed camera and you can clearly see that the beams are separate. There's never two beams actually active at once even though it looks like it. And that's because of your persistence of vision uh, in your eye uh, and also in the, the way that camera optics work that you'll let you see that. So here, here is actually the full speed uh, scanning rate and there's still a strange kind of effect that is caused by the camera rolling shutter effect I believe it's called but in reality these beams look completely solid with maybe a slight flicker but, but nothing like what you're seeing here. And here I am testing out the sensor at this low scanning rate. And what you can see on the LED on the sensor, which is behind the laser projector there, it's flashing on and off in sequence with that single note. So when the sensor, which is basically just a photodiode, sees a reflection from my hand, as in a bright light coming from my hand, it just has to check the timing of that note to figure out which laser beam was active, which one was being displayed at that point in time. And that is basically how the laser harp detects which notes are being played. And that works for multiple notes. And in the setup I currently have here, I have the sensitivity of the sensor set so that if I angle my hand slightly incorrectly, there won't be enough light reflecting towards the sensor. And you can see here that the blue laser beam is being activated every time the note is being seen as detected. So it's a nice visual indicator. It's not required for it to work, but a nice visual indicator to show that if I angle my hand just enough, the sensor is picking up the, the right amount of light required to say, hey, this is a note being triggered and therefore work, on, work out the timing based on the scanning rate of the laser and figure out which note or notes 
are being triggered and then as a result send that information back to the synthesizer via MIDI so that whatever sound can be played. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, I've tried to keep the explanation as simple as possible. There are things that I've not covered. For example, one of the laser harps I have allows you to actually move your hand up and down to change, for example, modulation or pitch bend, uh, which is something that I don't often use during live shows because it can be a little bit tricky to set up. But it, there's also another feature that I will at some point go into more detail on. But uh, for now, I think this kind of covers the basics and I will hopefully do more videos in the future. So if you liked it, please uh, like it and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you again soon.